Hello everyone, welcome to Web Software Software Solutions. Uh, today I am going to explain about the uh, working process of Web Software Check Fund Software Solutions. Uh, before that, I will brief about our company. Uh, Web Software Software Solutions provide online uh, banking related software. Uh, the banking related software contains uh, such as uh, microfinance, uh, cooperative software, NENDI, NBFC, and MLM software. Now I will explain you about the cheat fund software. So once you once you so purchase over the software now, you will get the domain with your company name. With that you will get the user with that you will get two panels there. One is admin panel and one is member panel. In admin panel, you are you have to perform all the admin level works like uh, creating the registration of customers and then uh, creating scheme, creating groups and all and your accounting related entries and taking making the payments and all uh, and uh, enrolling the staffs and all and deactivating those staffs those are all the works are major uh, works are done in the admin panel and in uh, another we will get the member panel which is for your the customers uh, the, your customers can log in and they can check their uh, check their details such as in which group they are present and what was the amount to be paid and how much the amount they have paid and what is the balance amount there and the, their ledger report and their uh, uh, groups EMI details and uh, their, their group status everything they will get in the member panel. Now I will explain you about the admin panel. Uh, once you log in to our software you will get the dashboard. Uh, once you log in, you will get the dashboard like this. Uh, here you will get the uh, dashboard like that. Uh, dashboard uh, in this dashboard, you will get the uh, first one. You will get subscriber search means by giving any of the subscriber details, you will get the, that particular customer details such as uh, uh, while registering, you will you will collect a customer mobile number, his name, and his other card, pan card, all these details you take. Uh, with that, with uh, entering any of those details, we can search that particular customer. So once you search, you will get uh, the particular customer details such as uh, his date of birth, when he has, uh, while registering, what are the details you took, like his permanent address, present address and uh, what was his uh, joining date, what was his present date of birth and in which group he was present all these details you will get in that particular page as you can see here the customer to whom I am search his details is coming like uh, the customer name, his date of, uh, date of joining, um, his permanent address, permanent address data birth, mobile number, in which group he was present and uh, all these details you will get in you will get the few option here if you click on that you will get the customer registration page over there means uh, that customer registration page uh, you will get you can take a printout of that one and you can provide it to the customer okay after that you will get the customer payment details such as uh, by selecting customers group and his ticket number you can take the customer payment in this uh, dashboard also by giving the customer uh, ticket number by uh, giving his name you can pay uh, directly if, while clicking on go you will go to the customer payment page from there you can take the payment and like, the also, like this also our software provides uh, pygmy, uh, pygmy collection also so, uh, so it is for daily collection for that daily collection for that collection also you will get one pygmy number and all that by entering that pygmy number you can directly collect amount from here by clicking on that uh, entering the pygmy number and clicking on go you will get that uh, go to that uh, pygmy payment page from there you can collect collect the uh, pygmy amount and then uh, in the last dashboard you will get the alerts like uh, the intimation such as uh, upcoming option in seven days that intimation you will get there and customer to list the customer who is having dues their list will appear there and customer 
बर्थडे और एनिवर्सरी डेज इन ऑप्शन सेवन डेज यू विल गेट द डिटेल्स एज इन विच ग्रुप ऑप्शन इज गोइंग टू बी हेल्ड इन द नेक्स्ट सेवन डेज व्हाट वाज द ईम आई अमाउंट टोटल हाउ मच अमाउंट पेड व्हाट इज द पेंडिंग अमाउंट दैट ऑल डिटेल्स विल गेट हियर ओके लाइक वाइज यू विल गेट द पेंडिंग इंस्टॉलमेंट रिपोर्ट्स मीन्स ऑल द कस्टमर्स हु इज हैविंग ड्यू देर डिटेल्स यू विल गेट देयर इन द पेंडिंग डेज Uh, means customers uh, in which group he was there and what was the amount to be collected what was the amount he has paid from from which installment he is having dues and how much amount he has paid what was the penalty for that particular customer uh, based on his due that everything you will get in this particular page okay uh, after that uh, you will get the uh, alert, uh, last alert which is customer uh, birthday or anniversary list if a current in current date if any of your customer is having birthday or anniversary his details will appear so that from there in that page you can send their uh, birthday or wish or anniversary wish in that page after completing this dashboard we will go for the settings where we will do the company profile settings where we can set the company profile details and all the rest of the details such as, such as company name and uh, website name what was your website name that one you need to enter then the mail id what is your company mail id that one you need to enter then you will get the address one address two address three uh, the, you have to split your address and you have to provide it in the this boxes address one address two boxes and then after that you have to uh, enter your registered company mobile number okay then you will get the price or non price penalty the customer who are the winners and who are the non winners uh, for them you can take uh, collect as a separate penalty percentage wise for that one you need to enter what was the per penalty percentage you need to collect that per percentage you need to enter here then the company commission what is the company commission you are taking that one you need to enter then you will get the bank charges in bank charges if a customer pays you by the check uh, if that check is bounced or returned what is the amount you are going to collect to uh, uh, to that customer no that one you need to enter then company gst and customer gst if you are uh, coming your company coming under this gst and if you are collecting uh, if you are uh, uh, gst deducted in your winner payment uh then you need to enter it in a customer gst if you, uh, you are gst deducting from your company commission you need it to enter in the customer gst then if you are paying any agent commission then you need to enter the what was the tds amount you are deducting for that agent commission and agent service charge if you are paying agent commission and if you are deducting any uh, percentage of amount from the agent commission that percentage you need to enter here and these are the details you need to enter in this company profile set uh, company profile settings and then you to click on the submit once uh, these are the uh, once you update this one it will be replicated in the all your complete software then you need to go for the manage master for creating your company's branch here you will get in manage master you will get the branch there you click on add branch where you need to enter the your company branch details in branch details you first you need to enter the what is the branch code and then what is the branch name who are, who are the contact person for that branch and uh, what is the state state district name area name everything you need to enter and as you enter the uh, uh, split at the address likewise here also you need to split your address and you need to provide in the respective boxes and then you need to go for the uh, mobile number mobile number and the what uh, phone number what is there now that one you need to enter and click on submit your branch will be created and uh, the created branch you can check it in your branch details there you will get the uh, branch name and what was the address what was his mobile number everything you will get here okay then next process will be you need to create your company bank details for that there is an in manage master you, you have you are having option called as bank there you, you just click on add bank option there you need to enter the bank here you will get two types of uh, bank creation if it uh, if the bank was common for the all the branches uh, then you need to select all uh, select all or uh, if it was for the individual particular bank then you need to you need to select the particular branch and create the bank, uh, bank such as uh, by providing the uh, bank name address account number what was the ifsc code and its bank's branch everything you need to enter and click on save your bank will be added and uh, in view uh, bank you can check the what are the banks you have created whether it is common or individual that everything you will get in the particular view bank page and then the next process will be your registration of the customer for that you are having option in management you are having option called enroll customer 
if you click on if we go to that page your customer registration page will come there you need to customer details such as customer name surname father name and by using this calendar you can enter the joining date and then you need to select the branch in which branch you are going to add that customer then it will ask you for the introducer introducer means with uh, who was the introducer that part uh, with uh, who from whom that customer was introduced by to your company that one you need to select for here uh, either that introducer may be your subscriber surety agent or any of your staff also uh, if no one was introducer then by default company will be a introducer that one you need to select there you will get company like here so you need to select if a customer comes directly to your company and if as if you are registered then you need to select the introducer name as company then you need to select the uh, present address and permanent address and then you in personal details you need to enter the email address and mobile number of the customers in the mobile number uh, whatever the mobile number you are going to enter now uh, to that mobile number you are getting the messages and all and then you need to select the uh, date of birth uh, what was the date of birth uh, of that particular customer based on that your age will be calculated then you if you want you can collect the customer bank details and nominee details once are, all, all the details are filled you just click on the submit the customer will get the registration sms along with his username password and what was his registration number everything you will get via that uh, mobile number which you have entered there and then in view subscriber page you can search the uh, customers whom you are enrolled and what was their status everything you will get in this particular view page you can search it wise branch wise also like uh, customer wise everything by giving any of the details also you can search the customers over here like in that particular car, uh, particular branch what was the customer joining date or what was their present address permanent address everything details you will Got here, get here okay then after this uh, likewise you will get you have to register sureties also for for them also registration page is same only and you need to enter the uh, all the details whatever the, you have entered in the member uh, while registering customer no? same thing you, you need to enter there and then in view surety page you will get the uh, the number of sureties you have entered and next will be a cheat scheme you need to enter the cheat scheme cheat scheme here you need to enter the your plan what was the plan your chip plan will be there like uh, 10 lakh 25 members uh, like the, whatever their plan you are having you know, that one you need to enter here like entering 1 lakh 25 members group in uh, per installment they need to pay 400 or 4000 rupees and the number of installments will be 25 and you need to give the what was the scheme name you are going to give you know, that scheme name you have to give and then click give the group id prefix as zero and click so click on submit okay then your uh, uh, scheme will be created and in view cheat scheme you can check the now uh, all the schemes which you have created uh, like this you will get the number of schemes you have created and what was the when you have created what was the number of members number of installments and what is the cheat value so the what uh, per particular for particular EMI what uh, what is the amount that every details will get here. So after this process, uh, next will be documentation upload documentation. So here you can upload the customer documents by uh, giving by taking uh, any of the customer details such as bank card, other card, whatever the documents will be there. Now you can upload it by uh, which you which are the jpeg or png format they are you can upload here by selecting the customer's branch customer code and the what is your sir, type whether you are collecting voter id is a ration card pan card that details you need to queue and you need to browse the that scan documents and you need to upload here once you upload in view in view document lists you will get the number of documents you are uploaded and the customer details who has uploaded which document that every details you will get in your documents okay after this next process will be a creating cheat group uh, where you have created scheme here by using that scheme you need to create the group here for that cheat manage uh, cheat man uh, management is that there you will uh, you first you will get the cheat create cheat group there you can create the 
chit group using your schemes so in uh, first you need to select the schemes which you are going to run now that scheme you need to select here uh, you will get the schemes which you have created uh, by selecting the scheme name particular scheme name you can start uh, registering your chit group so after that you need to select the branch in which branch you are going to run this chit group that uh, branch you need to select after that what was the group name that group name you need to select then uh, here it will ask for the uh, select the option type whether you are generating option 15 days once or 7 days once that one you need to select after that here you, it will ask for the bid type our software supports uh, normal bidding which is a uh, open bidding also and then fixed bidding double bidding uh, all three k the these all three kinds of uh, bidding type our software will support whichever uh, type bidding you are having that one you need to select and then the maximum bidding and minimum bid bid percentage is for that particular group that one you need to enter here and then if you are having any agent commission for that particular uh, group that agent commission percentage you need to enter and then here it will ask you for the cheat registration date and cheat commencement date uh, cheat commencement date, commencement date means your first auction date uh, means when you are going to generate first auction now, that is your commencement date that one you need to select after that you need to select the cheat registration date means uh, from which date the customer starts joining to your group now that is your cheat registration date usually that commence uh, cheat registration date should be less than your cheat uh, commencement mm, cheat registration date be less than cheat, cheat commencement date that one you need to select Okay, then if you are done any FD for that particular group, that FD details you need to send enter, and after that, finally click on submit. Your group will be created. Okay, the next process will be adding the registered customers, uh, customers to your group. For that, in you will get an option called membership entry. Then add customers to cheat option exam. So here you just select the branch and group in which group you want to go add the customer that the group you need to select, and then you need to select the ticket number which ticket number you want to register that ticket number you need to select here you will get if it was a 25 members group in 1 to 25 ticket numbers you will get whichever ticket number you want to assign now that ticket number you need to select here and then the select the subscriber means who for that particular ticket number whom you want to assign now that customer you need to select here all the registered customers which the registration all the registered customer will uh, will get appear while you are adding to the particular chit group okay uh, then in view subscribe to chit you will get the all the registered uh, uh, all the customers who are added in the group their details you will get there Here you will get the customer name, his ticket number, and his joining date, what was his uh, subscriber range, subscriber code, everything you will get here. So, after this, next process will be collection, uh, collecting amount from that customer. For that, uh, there is an option card uh, in transaction, there is an option card subscriber payment. So, here you need to select the branch and group which, uh, in which group you want to go collect the amount, that group you need to select, and then you need to select the subscriber whose uh, amount you are going to collect now that subscriber ticket number or uh, by, by help, with the help of his ticket number or name you need to select it uh, once you are done with the, you, once you select the ticket number you will get the prices here uh, like uh, what was the total amount amount he has paid and what was the current installment number and uh, what was the total due he is having what is the present installment number what is the present dividend and if he was uh, there you will get the penalty based on his due amount based on his due amount you will get the penalty error and this penalty is editable if you don't want to take penalty from this particular customer you can make it as zero and here you will get the payment mode cash check transfer for all three payment modes are there whichever payment mode you are going to collect now that payment mode you need to select and here our software support backdate entries also so you can collect the uh, by say using the calendar you can select the data on which date you are going to collect that one and then 
if, uh, as I told you, if a customer pays you by the check and if it was bounced, that charges will come like this. Here it will come like this. So which is non-editable. So once it is done, click on submit. Whatever you are selling, you can collect the part pay, part payment also. So uh, once the after entering the amount, you just click on submit. The customer will get the payment as well. Uh, and then uh, uh, after uh, making that payment, each and every payment, you need to confirm that payment until and unless you will confirm that payment that payment should be in the non uh, non accountable status one only when it will be accountable only when you confirm that payment you will get the uh, options here like confirm and reject if the, all the payment whatever you have entered everything is in correct and date uh, amount what is the thing uh, all the details are correct then you just click on confirm if it was uh, wrong then you just click on reject option that payment will be rejected and here only you will get the receipt print uh, by clicking on the print uh, print page uh, print option you will get the customer receipt like this like this receipt you will get what was the uh, receipt number in which branch you are have collected the amount what is the group name branch name how much amount you have collected what is the balance amount everything details you will get in the receipt once it is done the next process will be intimating uh, uh, option intimation for that in chip management you have an option card new chip new option intimation uh, in this page you can uh, you can intimate the customer uh, uh, related to upcoming options uh, by selecting brand and and which groups option you are, is uh, intimation you want to do that uh, groups option uh, that group you need to select here once you selected that one its related details will come then you need to center the what is the maximum bid and minimum bid for that particular option and then at what time you are going to generate the option now that time you need to select and click on submit the customer will get intimation via uh, sms and email to their registered email id and mobile number okay once it is done so next process will be a generating option so here by selecting the particular branch and the group you can generate the option Okay, once it is done you need to uh, enter the amount what is the vendor amount that amount you need to enter once you enter the vendor amount rest of the calculation like uh, what is the bid amount what is the commission amount what is the left out dividend uh, what is the particular dividend for particular uh, customer and how much uh, in next instrument how much you have to pay that everything will come here and you need to select the winner of this particular auction after selecting you need to just click on confirm to proceed it will shows you one approval page once the, all the details are correct just click on submit the all the customer will get the option in uh, generated sms and the option will be generated so after this the next process will be a uh, paying a winner amount for winner amount for the particular winner who has win uh, on that option for that in transaction you will get the option for price subscriber payment here you need to select the brand and which groups option you, uh, winner payment you want to do know that uh, uh, that group you need to select and then you need to select the option which option payment you want to do that option you need to select and click on search <coughs> once you search that one it uh, you will get the option here called display here once you click on that one that uh, you will get the details uh, the, the details contains uh, that particular customer who was winner now uh, in uh, his details will come means in, he, uh, in uh, apart from this uh, which other group he is having his ticket numbers and what was the new he is having there in that particular group that, uh, that details you will get uh, we are displaying this one because uh, if a customer uh, ask you for the adjustment payment of his other groups no for that purpose you need to you need to get to what was the new he is having to getting that one you need to we have given this option okay by help of this you can take the adjustment amount how much amount you want to take the adjustment that one you need to enter whatever the once you enter this amount the amount is deducted from this 
to then payable amount okay then it will show the what was the total amount to be paid to, paid to that particular customer here also you will get the payment mode cash check transfer all three payment modes you will get here okay uh, once you are done with that uh, if you click on proceed now it will ask you uh, whether you want to transfer the adjustment amount now or later if you click on now then you need to select the customer details like uh, uh, like uh, by selecting his branch and group and ticket number you need to select okay you need to select and you need to enter what was the in adjustment amount how much you are going to pay that adjustment you need to enter and click on submit to continue okay then uh, the both the winner payment and adjust payment are in the 44 same at the same time uh, if you click on uh, later no then you will have option here called price and refund adjustment in this particular page you can transfer adjustment of payment if you click on if you only this is payment uh, you can pay here only if you take uh, make that later if you click on later option then only you can pay here in the adjustment payment okay and then uh, next process will be uh, after winner payment same thing will be uh, repeated like uh, pay, collecting customer payment option intimation option generation winner payment this process will be continued until your work closes and uh, after that you will get the reports such as a uh, uh, check report what was the uh, how much amount you are collected via check or whether it is uh, uh, cleared or it is bounced or uh, whether it is in non clear status the all details you will get in the check report you can search it by particular group wise, particular ticket number wise, branch wise, all uh, as, as you want. You can take the reports here. Like you, here, you can get uh, whether it is bounce or unclear, all the status you will get here. Okay. Likewise, you will get the cash report and uh, how much you are collected from the cash. That report you will get in cash report. You can search it wise, branch wise, group wise, ticket number wise, you will get here. And you can search, search it wise, date wise also. You will get the uh, how many customers are paid in the uh, via cash mode and uh, what was the amount they have paid and uh, what is the receipt number everything you will get here and next you will get the transfer report if you uh, how much you are collected via transfer like uh, time in transfer you will get adjustment transfer also and uh, normal nap strategy transfer also you will get the other details uh, how nap how much you are collected by uh, adjustment how much you are collected there are all things you will get here okay after this next two will be a reporting part in uh, print and reports first first you will get the subscriber ledger report you will here you will get a particular ledger for a uh, particular person's complete ledger of in the uh, in his, his particular group by selecting branch and the group and then you need to select the customer whose uh, ledger report you want to see you know that particular customer's ledger report you want that customer you need to select and click on search once you search uh, you will get the details such as how much amount he, he need to pay how much amount he has paid and what was the dividend amount he has got uh, if amount was transferred by adjustment how much amount is transferred everything you will get here and here one more option is that print detail report if you click on that the uh, that particular customer's overall ledger report, report you will get like uh, this particular customer how much he has paid to you and uh, what was his, uh, what is the dividend he got what was the payment uh, received by a check what is the amount received by that transfer cash everything you will get and if he was a winner no is uh, what much amount you have paid how much amount you have paid how much you have taken his adjustment all the details you will get in this particular report okay after this you will get the uh, pending installment report in installment reports you will be, we are having option as a pending installment report here you will get the pending installment report group wise particular customer wise you will get the pending installment report So here you will get the this particular group spending stuff with how much amount he has to pay, how much amount he has paid, what was the balance amount, what is the due amount, what is the penalty, and uh, or from which instrument you need to pay to you get everything the details you will get in this particular pay. And uh, likewise, you will get uh, total commission you have uh, formal commission report, how much commission you got, uh, 
uh, group wise branch wise everything you you can and particular action wise also you can get this report like this you will get and uh, like this you will get the dividend report also how uh, what was the amount uh, how much amount gone in the dividend when it has gone all the details you will get here in the dividend report How much dividend con? What is the bid amount? What is the dividend amount? Everything which you have the particular installment wise reporting right here. Okay. So after this, next process will be accounting. And in accounting, some ledgers and groups are created by us. Apart from that, if you want to create any ledgers and groups, we have provided option for creating those ledgers and groups. And uh, next year in accounting, you will get accounting related entries like receipt, payment, general entry, contra entry, that everything. All the accounting related entries you can go done by this particular in particular by clicking on that particular option you can do the here one. After that, in reports, accounting related reports such as day book, sub day book, trial balance, balance sheet, profit loss, uh, payment and receipt payment, uh, cash book, bank book, all the data, all the accounting related entries you will get in the accounting report. So after that, you will get the <coughs> HR model here. In uh, HR module, you can some staffs and designations are created by our team. Uh, if you want to create any designation job, so by clicking on Add Staff Designation, you can create your own designation job. And uh, next, you need to give the designation with the right one. In this all this menu, what are the designation? What are the menus you want to assign that uh, particular employee? Uh, particular designation that one you need to select here. By clicking on checkbox, you can assign the designations. Okay. Then after that, uh, manage staff. Here you can uh, enroll the your employees like by selecting the uh, branch. Uh, it will ask you for the user type. Either if it was uh, admin level, right? Uh, admin level uh, uh, employee, then you need to select the admin. If you was related to only particular some branch, then you need to select branch and its branch related. Uh, entries you need to do like uh, in which branch you are going to uh, enroll him and uh, what was this employee type whether either he is a branch user or he is a chit collector that one you need to give and then enter his uh, employee name state mobile number all the details you need to enter and in the last you need to give him a username and password by using that username and password he can log in he can perform the uh, activities then you need to give a uh, rights if you, if you are for the admin uh, admin if you are created admin level rights then you need to uh, go for the sub admin user rights and if you have created the branch level rights means you are need to go for the branch user rights and uh, in member user right in member panel what are the things you knew you want to display the, that particular customer then you need to you can control from here and if uh, any of your staff leaves then you can deactivate that particular uh, they have to add that particular staff by selecting here you need to select the branch and click, click on search and you here you can deactivate that person if you deactivate that particular employee cannot log in and perform action uh, action in your option so here you active deactive option is that you can deactivate that particular this is related to HR model and then you will get the agent commission here uh, like uh, you enroll the customers now like that you need to enroll the agents also once your agent is enrolled then you need to assign the agents to particular customer in the assign agent page by selecting branch group ticket number of that particular customer then you need to select the agent to, to, uh, tell in the, to this particular customer who was the agent that one you need to select okay after that on which date you are going to assign that customer uh, agent that uh, assigned date you, need, you have to select and click on proceed you will get the then the agent will be assigned then next uh, option will be 
payment period then you have to enter the payment period from which date and from which date to uh, which date you are going to give the agent commission that is that date you need to enter and by clicking uh, on this create payout page you can create the payout for that particular agent and in reports you will get the agent related report what was the commission amount you got what was the payment amount that everything you will get in the agent model so next process will be a uh, pygmy uh, in pygmy uh, you, uh, it is for the daily collection purpose so you can collect so you can collect uh, by creating this pygmy account you can collect the amount daily basis and you can transfer it to chit account so for that uh, in create pygmy option is that once you click on that the create pygmy page will be appeared in that you need to enter the branch select the branch and select the collector who is going to collect to that particular customer then you need to select the customer here you will get two types of account one is fixed and one is non fixed if uh, you are collecting uh, particular amount of money for the particular period of day then you need to select the fixed if you are collecting uh, if you are going with the non fixed then there is the amount and the uh, installment is not fixed you can collect any time okay uh, if you are going with a fixed then you need to enter the what was the amount you need to collect daily by this whether you are collecting monthly weekly daily that one you need to select and from which date you are going to start uh, uh, collect that one you need to enter and how much money installment you need to select, collect now that one you need to enter and after clicking on that uh, uh, click on create pygmy then your pygmy app will be account will be created and you will get the one pygmy number for that one uh, based on your uh, pygmy creation there will be two type of payment you will get like fixed payment and non fixed if you are going with a fixed pygmy payment a fixed account then you need to collect in the fixed pygmy payment if you are gone with a uh, non fixed then you need to collect in the non fixed pygmy payment and uh, then uh, whatever the amount you have collected in the pygmy that one you can transfer it to chit by here pygmy adjustment payment is there uh, by selecting particular customer whom you want to pay that pygmy adjust pygmy adjustment amount that one you need to select here then you need to select from which pygmy account you want to deduct that pygmy number you need to select here then its payment uh, payment page will be appear and you need to enter the details what are the amount you are going to collect that one you need to enter and uh, after that after making the payment you need to confirm it in the confirm subscriber page this is the detail uh, related to pygmy and uh, apart from that you will get the communication here in communication you can uh, enter software you can communicate with your clients and your staff and all uh, here you want to select the receipt to which you to whom you are going to send that mail either you can uh, select it to your admin level right branch level right or subscriber that one you need to select and that you need to enter the what is the uh, subject subject and what is the message you are going to enter that message you need to enter and click on so send then the customers will get uh, customers also have that um, communication module there in the inbox they will get these messages and uh, in send and terms you can see the how to whom you have sent the message that one you need to get here uh, these are the details and after that uh, in settings you will get the option to uh, download the mobile apps for the collection and member the, the both mobile apps are integrated here so that in this particular page you can download the mobiles, uh, mobile apps for that and uh, these are the details the for uh, chit one software is having apart from that if you are having any extra requirements and if you are having any doubts please contact to our chit one software mobile number and you will clarify they will clarify your doubts and thank you